Do not buy a Honda Fit until you've watched this video. How's it going guys? Welcome to my channel and this video is basically a few things that I really wish that I would have known before I bought this car. Let's get into it. Now for a daily driver or a first car, this interior is sort of what you would expect. You've got your regular stereo, AM, FM, aux cord, battery charger. You've got AC with full controls. You've got your glove box. But the one thing I hate about this interior is there is no center console. Now, that's probably my biggest thing that I've hated about this interior since I got the car. This glove box is probably one of the smallest glove boxes I have ever seen. I've got about maybe three or four books back here, which are manuals, car receipts, maybe a receipt to a battery or a service check. And all I really have room for is a small flashlight, a few snacks. Now believe me, all of the moms watching this video, I know you're gonna wanna stuff the glove box with napkins, suckers. This interior has way more space than you think it does. This interior is fairly nice and I've grown to love it. But one of my favorite things about this interior is I can take anything and anyone anywhere. Let me show you what I mean. I'm a pretty tall guy. I stand at about 6'1", but when I sit in this car, my head is still nowhere near the ceiling. Now with my seat settings, my seat is almost all the way back. My knees still don't touch the front seat. As you can see, there's a lot of space in this back seat. You do have one pocket over there and two cup holders on the side. Whether you've got a flat screen TV or two flat screen TVs, this car can do the job. Sometimes I've had to go to a couple auto parts stores just to find this exact battery. But as for the rest of the engine bay, it looks pretty good, especially when you include all of the aftermarket support there is for this car. It is huge. Just to give you some insight, I have a DC Sports air intake, and on the rear of the car, I also have an HKS high power exhaust. Look at that thing, it looks so freaking good. I'm so glad I got it, and it sounds amazing. It sounds pretty good. Now this car does drone a little bit around 5,000, 6,000 RPM on the freeway. And that is because this is a little car with a little puny engine. So it would make sense that this car doesn't make that much horsepower. That was only 50 miles an hour right there from a standstill. But this car handles excellently. Now the drone does get a little bit worse when you have an intake and an exhaust and the radio's off, but stock from the factory, you're not really gonna notice it that much. It's not completely silent, but it definitely makes its presence known. It's not very fast, but it's basically just like a Miata made by Honda. It takes corners quickly, and it's what most people would call slow car fast. If you like this video, leave a comment below, subscribe, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be making more and more videos on the Honda Fit, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. And I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.